G'day guys, it's James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine and today I'm standing inside this CJ428 Bay Seeker. The 428 Bay Seeker is the smallest of the CJ runabout range, but look, don't, don't underestimate this boat. There's plenty of room in this boat and I'd encourage anyone looking in the runabout market not to buy off the internet and spreadsheets and look at just your spreadsheet data, but get down there, get your tape measure out and measure some of these boats. Very generous room in this 428 Bay Seeker runabout. Just standing here in the, in the opening windscreen. The opening windscreen allows for easy access to the, the anchor well uh, and retrieve the uh, anchor using a bowsprit roller. Easy tie off point and nice rails for handling at the boat ramp. Behind this uh, closed windscreen, uh, we've got a beautiful dash, uh, plenty of room on that. I'll give you a look at that in a second. But you also notice we've got the uh, uh, raised canvas uh, custom bimini top fitted to this runabout. Something that we do here in Brisbane and we have a lot of positive feedback about the quality of Ray's work. The, the flat top bimini just gives this opening between screen and top so you can stand to drive navigating those tricky conditions uh, where needed. At the same time, the flat top gives plenty of height for me to be able to manoeuvre under, getting in and out of the helmet navigator seat uh, when fishing or, or, or general boating. Now come in and have a look at this boat. There's plenty of, plenty of things to show you. I'll, I'll just start here at the, the helm position. Just want to show you quickly here. Look at this dash. This is a fantastic dash for a 4.28 metre runabout. We've been able to successfully flush mount the Garmin electronics into the dash with the Yamaha 6Y8 gauges mounted to the right. Now those gauges from Yamaha do include uh, your standard features such as uh, revs, speed, trim, fuel, battery vault, but also a fuel management system. The Garmin on the left here um, is a seven inch Garmin screen. It is a combo sounder GPS. And as I said, nicely flush mounted uh, with, with uh, ease of viewing from the, the driving position. Not, not too different to your car. Further to this dash, there is two cup holders, one for the, one for the driver, one for the navigator, whether that be to stow a mobile phone uh, or your drink, that's really good uh, storage opportunity on the small dash. You've also got a rail here, which also allows the placement of, of things on here uh, to prevent them from sliding onto the floor. And we've got the little four switch, switch panel here for navigation lights, anchor light uh, and bilge pump just to the right. Nice position for the uh, Yamaha 703 side mount control box and good steering height with really good vision uh, through this screen. Uh, I, I'm just on six foot and I've got very clear vision all through this screen. And I'd feel comfortable driving this out in the bay and estuaries. Also around this screen, uh, there is a, a, a rail. Uh, that rail is something that you can hold. It also stabilizes back down to the side edge of the boat. It, it provides some strength uh, for the windscreen, but also a rail uh, for holding on to. Moving to the uh, navigator side of the boat, you'll notice there is a, um, a glove box. That compartment is good for, you know, things such as flares, uh, maps, charts, wallets, phone, car keys, etc. There's also storage uh, under this barrier area here, which is placed under the anchor well. Good area there for things such as life jackets, safety grab bags, or even maybe your wet weather gear or a couple of towels. Um, the seat, very comfortable. Um, I, will, I will say that, very comfortable here. They've got a nice, nice high back, good, good piece uh, of cushion under your legs. They are wraparound, they certainly feel comfortable. Uh, and I think something that, um, uh, yeah, certainly is important uh, when boating in, in runabouts. They both swing all the way around. So you can sit here and, and fish at the back. There is rod holders in the side decks to make that easily uh, fishable from this position. Uh, or for all you old school whiting, whiting fishermen, you'd certainly have your, your long rods with low tips uh, placed within reach of this seat, sitting in comfort under the shade of the raised bimini. Wide, wide side decks are nice. As you said, gives provision for the mounting of flush mount rod holders. I suppose it also gives you scope to mount things underneath, whether they be uh, cockpit lights or, or similar. Two side pockets, one on each side, provides further storage in this boat. Again, whether that be for life jackets, uh, boat hooks, fenders, uh, or, or general gear, um, they're very convenient. Moving down the back of the boat, you will see this boat here. 
the 428 Basic is fitted with a high back motor well, providing safe boating uh, in those partially open waterways. There is two rear quarter seats, um, and they um, enable the positioning of the uh, 24 litre Yamaha fuel tank and the cranking battery uh, on the starboard side. This, uh, these are uh, these CJ428 Bay Seekers uh, are fitted standard with a navigation light kit, uh, battery isolator switch, bilge pump, etc. And that switch is easily located uh, at the end of the uh, side pocket here. Easy to reach in and out, whether the boat's on the trailer or on the water. Little quarter seat, certainly enough, enough comfort here. Nice rail here to grab, bit of an armrest here on the motor well. Um, yeah, quite nice really. Good four person boat. Mum, dad, two kids or similar. Um, plenty of floor space too. I, I, I'm just sitting back here looking now and, and let, let's have a look here. More floor space, more floor space than I thought. Nice beamy boat, um, quite a bit of width here. If, if, we, if I just measure the middle of the floor, uh, beam at floor, you're looking at 1.85. So across the boat at the middle floor intersection, 1.85 and if I was going sort of from um, let's just say the front of the back seats to the back of the front seats um, you got oh, what have we got there a little about a meter and a half so that's, that's quite a big area you'd, you'd easily get uh, a stack of crab pots uh, esky and, and still be able to walk in and around that equipment on board on well, the back of this boat um, You'll notice that the boat is powered by uh, the maximum Yamaha 50 horsepower four-stroke. These outboards are very quiet and very fuel economic. Uh, certainly a really good match for this 428 Bay Seeker. Um, electric start, power through and tilt. Uh, and look, you know, hand in hand with Yamaha's reliability and economy uh, is performance. But we can also offer uh, the Yamaha Motor Finance and Yamaha Motor Insurance packages uh, for people who are interested. Now, CJ boats we, we fit up here at Stones Corner Marine are towed on a Redco trailer. Uh, so this is part of the Redco Sportsman range. Uh, you will notice 13 inch wheels, uh, black plastic guards, LED lights, three to one winches on the back. Uh, they are a good, reliable trailer that have been built here in Brisbane for a very long time. So all in all, a couple of Queensland products in CJ and Redco powered by the, the most reliable output on the market, Yamaha. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and be sure to check out the CJ Basic range when you're looking for your next runabout boat. Cheers.